Mark, you go ahead. Great. Yeah. So I want to thank everyone for attending today. Um, and of course, we are conflicting with the funeral of Assemblywoman Barbara Clark. And I so appreciate my colleague, Assemblymember Felix Ortiz, for being able to be with us. But I know that will impact some other legislators' schedules, and it was really going to be impossible to reschedule this. This is such an important issue. Um, even the fact that we're all squeezed into a room that's too small because there's just too much going on in Albany um, reflects the fact that you all understand and the people who are watching how critical it is for New York State to do anything and everything it can to be a leader for the world in making efforts to divest from fossil fuels. And I want to thank um, my colleague Felix Ortiz for being such a leader on this issue as he's been a leader ahead of his time on so many other issues for his entire career. And I'd just like to give it to Felix to say whatever he would like as it ends. Thank you so much. Let me, uh, let me just uh, very quick, uh, that way we can go ahead and start. Uh, really thank all of you and, th and thank the senator for uh, our, her vision and her understanding on this important issue and for jumping on this issue uh, very, very quick. And uh, for her, I, I know her for many, many years, believe me or not, since uh, when I first got elected, the first press conference that I held was with her when she was working for the food bank. And, uh, and I will tell you this, that was an amazing, that was an amazing impression that she uh, left uh, on me. And uh, when she was running for office and she got elected, I said, I have a real partner in the Senate and, uh, and a fighter who doesn't never will give up. And, uh, and that is the reason why we're here today. And we hope that with your help, with your participation, with your understanding, and uh, giving, your, uh, giving us a little more clarification of where you want really us to go, uh, we, uh, we, will, we will have conversation with the uh, controller on this issue, but we will need you to uh, convince us a little more that uh, we can convince him more mm -hmm. that this is an important thing to do. We are already convinced, but we're going to make a belief that we need to be convinced again. Uh, but the bottom line is that this is an issue that is now you see uh, the climate change that took place in Paris with, uh, uh, and the uh, understanding that came out of Paris. For those of you who watched that on TV, I was very gracious to be there in Paris when that was happening uh, as an invited invitee by the State Department. And I will say this, that uh, that's as more and more of this conversation take place uh, and the scientists continue to prove that we do have a very, very serious challenge on, uh, on climate change are other people that doesn't believe that. And we have to make sure that we make them to believe that this is real and this is happening. With that, I would like to close by saying thank you again. And let's, uh, let's begin the, the, the roundtable discussion. And hopefully, this will help us to move to the next direction. Thank you. Thank you. Bridge of Scholars and Fossil Fuel Companies. In order to avoid causing disastrous climate change, four-fifths of fossil fuel reserves must stay in the ground. If we want to make it to the future, we need to use sustainable energy sources like solar power, wind power, and electric cars instead of fossil fuels. We would like the state of New York to support Senator Liz Kruger's bill to divest the state retirement fund from fossil fuel companies. We, the ninth grade Bridge of Scholar of the 96th Street Branch, care about this issue because we suffer from the effects of climate change. We, we want a safe place to live. We want to make sure that our future will be safe for us and our kids, and not to worry that our kids will face the same environmental challenge we do. The Somewhere Project connects to what we're trying to say because you can make a decision that can change your whole life. We want the state to decide that it's better for everyone if the planet is not destroyed. How does climate change affect our communities in New York City? There are a lot more air-related illnesses such as asthma because of pollutions from the fossil fuels. Global warming causes the ice caps to melt, which means that sea levels are rising, which is bad because we live in a coastal region. Climate change makes the effects of El Nino worse and makes storms like Hurricane Sandy more deadly. Are you wondering how we can solve this problem? Start with ourselves. Join our Make an Activism group working towards divestment. 
Go green. Bike or take public transportation instead of driving. Tell your state representatives that you support Senator Cougar's bill. Teach other people about the dangers of fossil fuel. Most importantly, corporations and the government need to change. Companies need to stop risky methods like fracking and eventually stop all fossil fuel extraction. The government needs to stop investing in fossil fuel companies and instead focus on clean renewable energy sources. We're gonna die unless we do something about climate change. I didn't even know they were working on this until they sent me the video. So I want to thank the ninth graders in my district for producing that film. Cool.